guys, it's Melissa Unger coming to you from the 2012 Sundance Film Festival. And like this time every year, Park City is overwhelmed with those who love movies. So the big scoop from tonight's premiere, Wrath the Titans, Sam Worthington tells us Avatar 2 is definitely on. In a press conference earlier this week, Justin Timberlake said he choreographed Cameron Diaz's car wash scene. Well, we'll just have to see if he brought any sexy back. Why come see it? This is the best group we've ever had, technically. In terms of the technology, this is the most advanced it's ever been. How do you still remain so sexy while Chicago is falling apart? Good lighting and good shooting by Michael Bay. <laughs> We've all seen George Clooney as Batman, but who knew it? He's also Superman. In his latest film, he writes, directs, and acts, all in the eyes of Mark. I know Twilight questions, you get a million of them. Are you glad that you're going to be able to see the sun now, or sad that you won't sparkle? I'm glad, to, uh, it's both. I'm sad that I won't be able to sparkle, and I'm glad that I get to see the sun. It's the 10th annual Tribeca Film Festival, and the festival that was designed to bring New Yorkers back downtown after September 11th is now a star-studded affair. As far as the color palette, what did you kind of pick for this, this collection? Uh, a lot of khaki, a lot of brights. Is this your first Comic-Con? This is not my first con, but my first San Diego Comic-Con. What do you think of it? Um, it's awesome. I bought original film cells from every episode of Star Wars. I heard that the way that you actually found out that Will had cancer was quite interesting. I was taking, I was on the toilet going to the bathroom. Is there a stunt that you will not do? I mean, you have wife and kids now. Yeah, I mean, these things are designed around me and we spend months figuring them out. It was a hugely successful book made into an equally successful Swedish film. Now it is David Fincher's latest film, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Fun fact about Water for Elephants, this is not the first time that Rob and Reese have worked together. They actually played mother and son in Vanity Fair, but that scene got deleted. From the red carpet, I'm Melissa Unger. I must commend you on such a beautiful animated film. Thank you, Melissa. Thank can, you. Can you tell me about the technology and your venture into animated films? Well, the technology was uh, about, I'd say, seven years in the making. Bob Zemeckis, uh, my protege, who did, did Forrest Gump and did the movies like Castaway and, of course, Polar Express, he invented this technology. And then he made a series of movies where the technology improved and got better and better. And then Jim Cameron took the technology and did Avatar with it. And that was amaz truly amazing. And then we took the animators who did Avatar, slid them over to Tintin. And that's why I think we have such an authentic, photorealistic look to our movie. It is so beautiful. And I, I wanted to ask you, how did you discover Tintin? I mean, he's such an iconic European character, but how did you, you find him? Uh, I read a, re I, you know, I used to always say don't read reviews, but I figured it'd be safe to read a review because I don't read French. Mm -hmm. So I got, picked up a French newspaper and read a Tintin review, a, a uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark review, and they kept mentioning something called Tintin. So I researched it, got a Tintin book, and realized that Hergé had written a very, not a similar adventure, but a movie that is based on all the important principles of, of the adventure genre. And it was, I could see why the French thought there was a similarity between Raiders and Tintin. Now, how did you wrangle Peter Jackson into this film as well? I mean, he's, I mean, he's motion capture, he's got that down. Yeah. Well, you know, he's really a funny guy. He's got a great dry sense of humor. And I did a snowy test with his company, Weta, and I wanted to see a digital snowy. And without telling me, Peter stuck himself on the test playing Captain Haddock oh, wow. in full costume and came out with a bottle pretending he was drunk. And it was hysterically funny, and I called Peter to thank him afterwards. And he said, yeah, I've been reading Tintin since I was five years old. And when he said that, I said, well, do you want to make this with me? We can produce it together. And that's how we got into business together. Um, he actually said that you're very much like Tintin, more than him. Would you want to comment on that? I think he's right. I think I am more like Tintin, and I think he's more like Haddock. I think it was no accident he put on the Haddock wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs>